Hello and welcome to BOI Weekly. I'm Kaede Alayade. There is a business model that has thrived in other European climes, but is now beginning to gain some traction in Nigeria. This is because it promises the most rewarding returns and it is incredibly sustainable. This is a cooperative model in which a group of enterprises with a common interest and the same line of business form a cooperative society where the leverage and every member's contribution to produce products for their collective benefit, such that they become their own first customers or off-takers. This way, they are able to beat down production costs, maximize profits and guarantee the markets. They are essentially their own customers, producing for themselves what they need. That's exactly what some fish farmers in Ibadan and Ido local government area of Oyo State did. They formed a cooperative society and established a fish feed mill from which they can all procure feed for their fishery. The Ido Ibadan Fish Farmers Cooperative Society approached the Bank of Industry with the idea and they got the required support. Come with us to see the fishery and the feed mill. Stay close. Leveraging on the principle of equal opportunity and equal equity, this group of fish farmers, drawn from Alova Ibadan and Ido local government area of Oyo State, have pulled together funds and expertise to establish a fish feed meal that produces all the food required to raise their fish from juvenile to maturity and sell the excess to farmers outside of their group. They approached the Bank of Industry for support and the rest is history. We visited the fish farmers feed mill in company of the Bank of Industries state officer in Ibadan, Mr. Pequins Irabo. After the initial exchange of pleasantries with the executive members of the cooperative society, Mr. Irabo expressed confidence in what they are doing and vowed that the Bank of Industry would never leave nor forsake them. The Do Ibadan Fish Farmers Cooperative Society Limited it's very interesting for the bank of industry because it's a unique business model that uh, you present to us. Uh, this is one of the very few times we'll see Nigerians having different interests coming together to solve a common challenge. You are all fish farmers and you have decided to solve a singular problem that you all face, which is fish feed. And I understand that that constitutes about 70 to 80 percent of your production cost. So coming together to own a fish feed was quite interesting for us. And that is one of the reasons that the uh, Bank of Industry is supporting this group. The first uh, loan that we are giving to this group, almost uh, 5 million naira, is expected to be repaid in a period of about four years. And I want to let you know that it is just the beginning because we have entered into a long-term relationship with you. It's like a marriage. And in this marriage, the bank, the part of the Bank of Industry is almost certain. We will not exit this marriage until you are willing to divorce us. And our prayer is that you will not divorce us. <laughs> that we will be with you, we will grow this business, we will nurture it. We will bring all the support that we, we have in our arsenal to, just to make you to grow. You are starting with a, a, um, a feed that sink locally produced. But the next project we are hoping is that you come to us in two years' time, in three years' time, to expand your operation, to produce a floating feed, so that you can further enhance your fish farming businesses. That is the message of the Bank of Industry to you. All that we we'll require you to do is that be consistent in your low repayments. As a team, you can do more than a singular person. So bring out all your energies together and ensure that loans are paid as at when due. When you do that, you have already written your next uh, loan request. Once you knock at our door, we look at the track record and our management will always be willing to approve your loan. So I wish you all the best. It's just the beginning of a relationship we started this year. And hopefully by 2018, 2017, we should be expecting you to come to our doors and say, we need to move this business, take it a step further. 